morning. I'm heading up into town, up to Bluffs Park. I'm meeting up with a, an architect. Uh, his name is Chris Mercier. He's done some amazing work, some incredible work over the years. And we're gonna find out what he's all about. And then we're gonna bounce around. We're gonna grab John Grafman at some point. I'm not sure where he is, I'm gonna find him. We're gonna poke around, try to uncover a little bit of a vehicular gold mine. This town is always full of little nuggets everywhere. I'm gonna find him. What's up, man? Good, man. How you doing? Great, good. Doing? Hey, this is Chris Mercier. He is a, a, a fantastic architect, if I do say so. And I've seen this stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he has come out to Malibu today. Uh, we're going to do some shots on his uh, Ford F-150. Yeah. Uh, we do a mixture of stuff. I've been doing it forever. I mean, I started when I was a little kid. I was going to be an artist painter. And it kind of evolved into, okay, film the architecture and love it. And I, so I still do both, actually. I mean, I think one of the biggest things we do, first of all, we do modern contemporary work. And that's kind of, I think that's really important in terms of the day and the age we live in. I think you want to do work that responds to our time. Yeah. So it's not nostalgic. It's not trying to look old or anything like that. I mean, I appreciate some people like that. Hey, it's cool. Yeah. But it's not what we do. Uh, the other thing I think is space is a huge thing. How you deal with and form and shape space. I think it, it has a more effect on how we live in the world than we know. And so I think to us that's a really important issue in terms of when we design is that making sure we're making spaces that not only function and give you a great place to be and live, but it also gets you to think a little bit, inspires you, kind of maybe get a little twist on it. Yeah, inspiring things like this. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Where can you go and just walking around and see, band, see. the bandit just drives there by? You go. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Malibu. We've got a number of commercial projects. We have an urban design project happening for the city of Solano Beach that we're working with nice. right now. Nice. Large scale project, 100,000 square feet. What's your favorite? What kind of stuff do you like working you on? You know what? It's like I don't have a favorite. I like to, like, to me, I like the, the mix. I like to, like, you do something in a house, then you might apply that's, it to a restaurant, or then you might do it into a commercial yeah. project, but it's the mixture. I think it's better. That's the answer. I mean, like a Hummer where you have like a football field in between each other. <laughs> you got some space in here. You know, you should have like an intercom system between, you know, the people in the back. So, but you're also a Harley guy. I am. What do you have? It's a 96 Dyna. It's been customized. And when I was a kid, I rode dirt bikes. So okay, I did yeah. that back in Michigan a little bit. And then I didn't do it for years. And then I had a buddy kind of got me into it. He, he, he drag raced for a while. So where can people go to see, uh, you know, some examples of your work and, and, the, uh, and the firm? Uh, you know what to do? There's a great restaurant downtown, Ofacina Brewery. It's an Italian restaurant. It's on 6th Street, right near the new with a bridge that's under construction, 6th Street Bridge. Uh huh. Uh, great place for dinner. Great place. So that's the first time, you know, I have interviewed architects before and they say, you know, go to my website and look at this stuff. You're actually sending us out to dinner. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> it's like if you're going to go get an architect, you might as well eat something too and have a good time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is like the economy car of Malibu. What's up, Grappin? It's another beautiful day in Malibu. I'm hanging out with John. I don't know why. Why am I hanging out with this guy? Because you are bored. I'm going to make life hot for you. We're going to go to Malibu Kitchen because John has not been there. He's very excited. Extremely excited. He's also had a tremendous amount of coffee. That might have something to do with it. Maybe this guy can knock some sense into me. Yeah, don't keep your day job. It's already about three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, back in King Tahoe, I'm headed down PCH, slowly but surely, going over to the Peterson Museum for the premiere event of the Art of Bugatti. Now this is something I was invited to by Bugatti's PR firm. And we're just gonna have fun checking out the Bugattis. You know, the cheapy kind of cars. Nah, not so much in this one. These are gonna be spectacular.
the exhibit, the actual exhibit is uh, inside the Peterson. These are just a few Bugattis that are hanging out in the lobby area. But if I had my choice, this would be the one. This is Mike, uh, Mike Satterfield. Of, uh, you should explain this. Well, than I, than I um, I'm from thegentlemanracer.com, my main website, and then I'm also with MP Speed Shop, which is my apparel company. And we do licensed automotive apparel, but Gentleman Racer is my main passion. Car stories, travel, road trips, builds. That and kind Bugattis. Of stuff. And Bugattis, yeah. If I gave you the keys to this car right now, <laughs> where would you go? Uh, where would I go? Um, I'm going with you, by the here, way. It has, to, it has to be Angel's Crest Highway. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty good. And then we get to the desert and really test the top yeah. speed out. Man. El Mirage is on Sunday, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> we have to schedule it out. <laughs> we can always yeah, just disappear for a few days. I'm pretty sure they'll get us the keys. Are you willing to ask them? Yeah, might as well. It never hurts well. to ask yeah. them. Yeah. You always buy something new. Weird. Yeah. It's, it's not, well, it's not really new. It's just kind of weird. Yeah, weird stuff. Yeah. Weird old and pieces of things. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I like to build the weird eccentric cars. I've had Peugeots, Renaults, and lots of weird Fiat. You, you gotta go check Pumas out thegentlemanracer.com. So, yeah. he's, he's got all kinds of strange things going on, and then some really great stuff. Yeah, some we really do cool a, lot, stuff. a lot of travel stuff. We did a really cool road trip with Fiat, which was a ton of fun, yep. where we went to Mount Rushmore and all over the, all over the yeah. country. It doesn't suck to be you, man. No, it's fun. It's, <laughs> it's a lot more fun, yeah. about 15 to 20 million and there is well over 10 or 15 here so yeah. even more okay. maybe 300 million let's see what see what else i can find <laughs> anybody else guess We are, we're rolling. This is Josh, <laughs> supercar guy, drinking. been around for a long time. What are you drinking? Sparkling water. Yeah, yes. of course. If you had to guess a price tag of what's in this room, what would you think? I would probably think in excess of $10 million. And that, it's it's, gonna it's be low, certainly it? more. It would be low. Yeah, that would be low. But I didn't, you know, if you That's kind of like a wheel. If you had said, Josh, we're going to do prices right tonight, I would have come a little prepared. We'd have gone to the grocery store, we'd have no, looked at the price no of gifts, bread, there's no price of tide, yeah. you know, things like that. I think it's more north of 250. Yeah. Each really? car is probably 10 to 20 million dollars. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But it's a good guess, Josh. It's no, it wasn't, it wasn't a good guess at all, but I wasn't ready for that the question. I like a reading. He gets a little nervous. What can um, I say? But I could still get into the uh, the big wheel space. Yes. Oh, That's okay. true. So let me 
me first thank the media for coming. We have journalists in the audience from uh, over four dozen outlets and a half a dozen countries, so we're thrilled with the response from the media and your energy in, in joining us tonight. Many of you, many of our friends were here uh, present a year ago when we held our grand reopening of the new Peterson after our complete remodel. We have had over two billion impressions worldwide and two billion impressions worldwide in every form of media since we reopened. And in the last 10 months since we've been open, we've had 140 events. When you divide that into 10 months, it's a, it's a mind-boggling, staggering one every 72 hours. Uh, but we've been recognized by the mayor of Los Angeles as a new must-see cultural institution. Many of you have been exceptionally kind to us in your articles and your reviews, and we really thank you for that. This is only the third time that this car has been in the United States. And now the car's gonna be here for about three months at the Peterson. So you can see it here. The exhibit here at the Peterson is the most elaborate Bugatti exhibit that has ever been created. There are so many incredible examples of this car and the artistry and the history. Uh, it's mind boggling. Peter Mullen, who is uh, not only chairman of the Peterson, as well as your own museum, I'm um, sorry. Thank you for this exhibit. Extraordinary. I have a, a uh, more in-depth personal question for you. Sure. Okay. Shoot. In 30 seconds, what is your best car story? My favorite car, actually, is not a Bugatti. It's a teardrop Taubelago. And I had it on a rally in Europe. And I was screaming along the back roads, and all of a sudden, the lights went out, and I couldn't see anything. And I thought, oh my God, did I have a stroke? What happened here? And I realized that the hood had flown up and covered the windshield, and I was going pretty quickly. And so I thought, well, that, that maybe, get your heart, heart pump. maybe I should just keep steering straight and hope the road doesn't turn. Right. And then the hood flew off, and I could see again. And because it's all a single piece, yeah. when it flew off, it was like a sail, a kite. Thank you for having us. This is yeah. an extraordinary exhibit, I, you know, and I'm so impressed that uh, having come to the Peterson for so many years and seen the way it was to what it is now, it's truly a world class museum. Wow, well, thanks for saying that, Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. All right. Okay, this is Carolyn Bugatti. Uh, thank you for coming here. The thank you, too. Extraordinary exhibit. Amazing. But with, with all these cars, you have to have a favorite. Uh, if I can drive with one of them, it was the Type 55. Which which one is that? Uh, she's at the beginning, the blue, uh, two colors of blue. Ah. So for me, it's the best, perhaps the best Bugatti, but all the Bugatti are wonderful. Oh, I know. But Perfect. if I can choice one to make a round tonight, it was the Ford 55. Okay, can I go with you? Yes, okay. <laughs> Fun time at the Peterson. Got a chance to meet Peter Mullen. That was uh, fantastic. It's been a long time coming. Haven't had a chance to meet with him. That was very cool. Carolyn Bugatti, who is a part of the Bugatti family. There was probably, I would say, 250 to 300 million dollars worth of uh, amazing vehicles in that in that uh, that gallery. Just a spectacular array of cars. This is a must if you're if you're a car person. Uh, if you love any kinds of vehicular contraptions, this has to be on your list. If you're coming to visit Los Angeles or if you live in LA over the next three months, go and see the Chiron. That that car, they're not going to let you drive it. Just going to put that out there right there. But you can look at it. That's a plus. You can look at it. All right, we're one day closer to the Art Center Car Classic, which is happening on Sunday. This is going to be a spectacular show. Ken is bringing his Porsche, uh, so we're going to have some really great cars. They're going to be hanging out with the likes of Jay Leno, Barry McGuire, Dave Merrick from Acura, um, Chris Bangle, 
all kinds of really incredible designers. Um, I'm going to be helping to judge some of these cars. <laughs> I can't believe they actually asked me to do that because, you know, knowing me, I'm actually going to judge by like, snagging one of them. I'm going to introduce you to a lot of really cool people and uh, we're going to hang out. We're going to see some amazing vehicles and we're just going to have a fun-filled day on Sunday. That's it. If you're watching this for the first time and you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, which is somewhere, somewhere around there. Join us. We're having a great time with car culture in Southern California and worldwide, pretty much everywhere. It doesn't really matter as long as they're driving in that country. I don't really care. There's got to be cool cars and I'm going to be there to show you.